It's online biz, real talk today, and we have an incredible subject today. We are interviewing our Peter. incredible uh, business partner, Peter from Tilbury, Ontario. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Peter, Peter, strong, strong guy. Um, he is uh, a truck driver. And uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm going to bring him on board with all of our business partners. We have questions for you, Peter. Um, all right. So God bless you. Thank you for taking time out of your busy, busy life to come on today. Um, why don't you introduce yourself for us and then we'll ask you a few questions. Um, yeah, I'm Peter Friesen and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a truck driver. And uh, yeah, um, right now we're... <laughs> We're out here chopping and doing also, um, yeah, doing this business chat. So, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. I was here in the kids <clears throat> in the background. Um, thank you. Thank you for taking your time out to, to do this. Um, okay. Uh, Paulo, do you have any questions for Peter? What would you want to ask him? I didn't think I was going to be the first one to ask. <laughs> you're you're, well, you're, you're right next to them, so you can, add, you can introduce yourself. And then, yeah. yeah, ask your Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Paulo Perlez. Uh, I currently live in Vancouver. Uh, grew up in Calgary. Uh, background is I've uh, been nursing for 90 plus years and I've uh, been doing this business for over five years now. And so, Peter, my question is, and I've, I know we've uh, you've been on other business chats before, but uh, with you being so busy, like with be, uh, truck, being a truck driver um, and you doing this business, like where do you see yourself in the next, I would say, two years or three years from now? Um, <laughs> that is actually a good question. I never, my mind never really works looking that far um, because yeah, I, I'm not good at that because the thing is, I don't know what will happen, right? So, um, but if, if, yeah, I look like I should be, yeah. Uh, it, should, it should be a good success and uh, well, being a truck driver, I love it so much. I'm not even like at the moment, I'm not even considering quitting it, right? Um, but uh, yeah, um, uh, I like I love truck driving and I'm I want to do it the, the way I my mind right now is I want to do it the rest of my life, right? As so long as I can, anyways, because I enjoy it so much. And once my kids are bigger, um, I guess that's further in the future. Once my kids are bigger, they can take, kick, that they can take care of themselves. Then I want to take my wife out. Now we're gonna do longer runs, more, go uh, explore the world, right? Um, so yeah, that's basically what I my plan is and my vision of uh, from the, in a couple of years. Uh, so yeah, no, that thanks for answering that. And so. Um, it's great that I know a lot of people are still wanting to keep their jobs because they love their jobs, but they just want to do this as a side hustle, to earn extra money on the side. So uh, with being able to earn extra money on side, like, um, what do you have plans for that? Um, well, uh, my plans is uh, we definitely want to go more vacations okay. uh, because, uh, yeah, it's that's my plan. More vacations, I guess a little bit more time at home uh and uh and i i like things to enjoy like toys and stuff so i, I want to enjoy things around like you know anything right um uh, yeah not being so busy not always so tight like well, if i i work not working one week or two weeks then i have to, never have to worry about that uh i need to make payments i have to work because of that right so yeah that's 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 what i'm looking forward to is uh I want more vacation and not so always tied up, like to make sure that I have to make payments for everything what I have, right? Yep. All right, thanks, Peter. Yep. yep. I love that, Peter. Yeah. Um, I, I too feel the same way. Like yesterday, I paid like all my credit cards off. I was like, ah, because we've been shopping. Debt free now. We've been shopping. Now, before I had 30,000 worth of debt, and then I realized, oh my goodness, my credit cards are all being racked up. I'm buying this, I'm buying this for the kids, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And it was like, I paid uh, four or 5,000 on one, 1,700 on one, 4,000 on one. And then I was like, I got a lot of credit cards. I do, I gotta get rid of them. Cause if I, if I keep having them, I'll keep spending them. And then I was like, let me pay my bills too while I'm at it. Cause I'm just seeing how much money I have. And I'm like, 
what, why don't I just pay my bills early? Why don't I pay my hydro bill? Why don't I pay my gas bill? She, she got, she got yeah. such a huge lump yesterday and, and over the week, uh, tons yeah, of checks tons, are arriving. Tons of checks. Like, so I was she's like, like, might as well just pay things forward. And I was telling Tito, you want some money? No. Nah, I, 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 I was like, he regretted it later. He's like, uh. I mean, when someone, when someone you offers you, it. when someone offers you like, money. Like, I got a whole bunch of money. You want some money? Nah. I know, I know. I'm, a, I'm yeah. I'm sure, you. if you want, sure. I'll buy you something you need. Yes, a brain, no? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're smart. Mm. Um, if your wife offered you money, Peter, would you take it? For me? If your wife offered you money, would you take it? Uh, <laughs> I don't know because I don't know. Well, he's so, he's so sweet. you know it. Yeah. You and me. He's our sweetheart. You know it. Okay, so um, I really like you're gonna do it, Peter. You're gonna do it. You're gonna be able to have the time to not worry about money, to not worry yeah. about things. And you know, to to get these big lump sums of money, it's not to get rich. You're gonna, you know that, but you, all your hard work is gonna pay off. Yeah, it's gonna be your own your your community, Amen. the Peter Griffin community. Community. Yeah. It's gonna be uh, all you guys here. Everybody that I see here, yeah. it's gonna be. I was gonna have a community. Mm -hmm. uh, we call our community integrity, team integrity. Mm -hmm. You guys will have also a, like I see like five years from now. I see you guys being uh, like up here. I see. Where I see you guys. Now you are successful. Are uh, more coming. Yeah, and it's it, it's it, it'll work. It's gonna work. Yes or yes, guys, because only we have this time. Amen. I got a question for you, Peter. Yes. Um, uh, this business that you started. Uh, you started it to get an extra lump of income, an extra stream of income in in your daily, because you love truck driving. Uh, do you believe at cert a certain part of your life with this business, do you believe this only being uh, an extra stream of income or do you believe that you'll probably surpass everything and then maybe you'll just switch over to the online 110%? Uh, <laughs> at the moment, no, but <laughs> I don't know what will happen, right? Um, I, I, I'm a hard person. That I don't know, like, I cannot... Um, how should i say it like i cannot prevent like uh, uh what's the word again for that um look at the future what will happen right and if even if i could it's really hard because most of the times when i have done that uh it did not went well right like i told a while back that i lost quite a bit of money with the day training right um stuff like that 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 hurts and and then you, you then you be very careful um what, what you will wish for and what you will look for right if that makes sense that makes sense yeah for sure and um, my other question is um since you started this business do you feel do you feel like uh like is there a is there a change like is there a change in a positive way happening to you since you started this business or is it the same? Um, huh. oh, I'm not here. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I can see things are happening, right? Things are working. So I guess, yeah, I would uh, look more positive. Yeah, absolutely. That's perfect. Yeah, awesome. Well, those, are, those are my own two questions there. I don't want to do it too hard. I, I like to talk, right? Uh, All right. We'll get Sandra going next. Okay, Sandra, why don't you introduce yourself for us? Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, and then you can ask Peter some questions. Hello. My name is Sandra Macias. I'm uh, in the United States, New Mexico. Um, I, uh, I actually started this business, too, you know, trying to uh, have a second income, uh, let's say that. Uh, my question to you, uh, Peter, is um, I see that you are busy, <laughs> really busy. And how do you manage to do this online uh, business while you're doing trucking and, you know, a father of five? 
How does that work with you? Um, last part I didn't quite hear, but uh, anyways, about the, that time. Um, my runs are not long. I'm, I'm driving about the maximum of six hours at a time. Uh, most of the times I drive about four, five hours. That's my most of the time. And these places, they are always swamped about trucks. So I usually have an, like an, like a half hour to an hour time there to, to work on it. Right. Like, uh, I just go do my job there. I go back into the building, whatever I need to do. And then I go sit in my truck and wait for them to unload. And that's when it gives me time to, to work on this. Right. And also, you know, some nights I, I sleep in the truck, not every night. I do about one to two nights a week that I, that I'm in my truck. And then, then I try to take at least an hour with that time to work like working ahead with us with this right and it's a little bit harder when i'm home because uh once i get home then i have to basically get ready go to bed because i need my sleep i'm a i like my sleep right so um yeah basically then there i don't have much time at home but uh when i'm on the road it's easier and uh yeah uh and some places we have to wait there two to three hours to get unloaded, right? And that gives me plenty of time to do what I need to do, right? So, yeah, that is uh, at home not so much because my wife needs me at home, take help, take care of kids, bath them when I'm home, um, you know. And but usually I when I come home, that's either four to five o'clock in the afternoon, and then um, yeah, and do the rest of it. And then by that time, I'm just relax a little bit. And time to go to sleep, right? To get up next day early again and and work, yeah. So yeah, that's basically how I do it. Okay, that's good. <laughs> yeah, that's good to know that you're putting, uh, you know, time on your business. It's kind of hard when you're, you know, away from home and uh, trying to build a second income. But thank you, thank you for your answer. Yeah. You're welcome. I'd like to say maybe on one of the team zooms that I do, you can show people how you uh, get your laptop to use your phone data. I would love that because um, I don't know why I've Googled it many times, but I have, I have a hard time doing that. So maybe it's, you can show it one day. Yeah, go uh, on. It's very, it's very simple. It's just you basically uh, hotspot it, right? Like, I don't know, the phones all have hotspots. Yeah. So you can just use that through Wi-Fi and then you just connect it with that way and then you have internet on your laptop, right? So. Yeah, I've seen so many times it hasn't worked once. Maybe you could troubleshoot sure. it with me later. I'm supposed to be the the here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you can even hotspot it with phones and phones, right? Let's say you yeah. uh, partner. I, yeah. It's it's the same idea, same way. And uh, so, yeah. Maybe it's just this apple is harder because I have a I have a Note 10 Plus and then I have a Apple laptop. Oh, okay. That would so be I don't know how that works. I use uh, I use iPhone right on my phone. Yeah. I have iPhone, and I got about me and my wife together have like hundred gigs of data. Yeah. And so that gives me plenty of data to to work at wherever I'm at, right? Well, it just shows that, you know, whoever's watching and all my business partners too, all you guys, like if you take yeah. your laptop and you want to do things, because you could do things from your phone. I'm going to be totally yes. honest. I do it. Yeah. But it's easier to do it from your laptop because it's big screen, right? Yeah. And yeah. It's yeah. not hard on your back because I find when I use my phone a lot, like it bothers my back. So I, I like to sit on the laptop, right? All right. Yeah. Thank you, Peter. Uh, Don, how are you, Don? Let us introduce yourself for us and um, ask Peter a question. Hey, everyone. My name is Don. I'm a Canadian and I live in Ireland. And I have done for the past 22 years with my husband and our three kids. My background is in the tourism industry. I was a, a customer service representative before I became a stay-at-home mom. Um, and I found this business about four years ago. 
and um, it's been a blessing to my to my family. So, Peter, I my question for you is: um, these days, everybody is looking for a way to supplement their income, and before, in order to do that, we would have to find a second or a third job. I want to know if you ever thought that you would find yourself working online. Um, I was not. Because, yeah, I definitely was not looking. Hang on, sorry. Hello, babies. Um, yeah, sorry about that. So I can't hear. Um, so I never thought that I would come up to this because I always thought I would be truck driving, right? So, and I was always looking for an extra income, but it was actually harder. Uh, the way I look into it, it was not that easy for me, right? So, and until I came across this, I'm like, uh, this actually, if that only works for hour to a day, I could easily do that while I'm on the road, right? During that time when I'm unloading and stuff. So, yeah. I don't know if that answered your question. Yeah, absolutely. I, I didn't ever think I was going to work online either. I had to um, I came across this business and I never thought I would be working online so I know exactly uh, where you're coming from my other question is do you think everybody should at least consider working online if they want to supplement their income uh, absolutely yeah if they want to uh, make extra money oh yeah this would be the easier way to do it right like then, then they would not be so busy uh, doing uh, other things. Like if they would be have a couple jobs a day, like that they would have to go to like two jobs, then they, they would be busy. They would have no family time, right? So that's all they would have to do is this work and work. That's basically it. And that's why it makes it so much easier because you can do it while you're at home around, right? You don't have to be constantly on there, right? So yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Wow, Peter. Um, like, as we're talking, I just want to say you're inspirational. I know. I know what it takes to be with five kids. I know what it takes to do a live, and the kids are being real loud in the background or being loud. I know what it takes to keep your composure. Um, this is one of the reasons. So Peter's super new, and I don't usually interview new people because I don't want to put them on spot or you know maybe they haven't had as much successes and stuff but the way i see it and i I've, I've said this tons of times he's only been in the business since a couple of weeks and he's skyrocketing he's going uh, above and beyond with his training and um and all my business partners they're they're skyrocketing too there's a big um difference in you it's like you have what i have you have that drive like i want to do it right now i want to do it right now even i was like how's things going and he's like, well, slow. I want to get things done, done now. I have to go to the training and I have to wait on things. And then last night I was like, let me save you about two hours. And we was on we was on the the Zoom for not long. And I did I saved him like four hours. I went through a whole bunch of things really quick because I, I know how to get him like started in the business quick. Help him set up his website and stuff. So um, we filled out a form. Long story short, I just I wanted I wanted him to to have everything running for him while he's going through the training slowly. I don't want people to rush through training. Everybody who's watching, that's not our goal to rush through training. We want you to have it in your head so that you can know how to do it on your own, right? But mm -hmm. if you're a busybody like Peter, we're gonna get you an ad running so you can make money uh, while you're doing the training. Um, if I have one question, um, everybody's pretty much answered the questions that I wanted to ask. So. Um, let's see, um, how, how do you feel about the training uh, in your experience? How has the training been going for you? Uh, well, it is actually going pretty good. 
uh, like I said yesterday, it's it like, feels like you want to get rush everything down now and skip, you know, almost feel like you want to skip things, right? But it's not the, uh, I noticed that that's not the ideal to do because you, you would miss a lot of steps, right? So, yeah, I, the, it's actually going pretty good. It's, uh, uh, well, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that answered it or not, but. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, I won't keep you much longer. I know you're busy. Did you want to add something? Yeah. Would you ever recommend this business to anybody? Oh, absolutely. I would. Yep. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Absolutely. Sorry about that. Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So I guess to, to end uh, everything, guys, this, this business is for everyone. It doesn't matter where you come from. I hear a lot. I hear a lot that this is a woman business because they see a lot of girls on here. All the time. But it's not. And um, I want to say, guys, I can tell guys are a little bit more shyer than girls. Girls are more talkative. They have something to say. You know, guys are you know, they're a little bit more quiet sometimes. Um, but what I want to say is it doesn't matter where you come from. It doesn't matter your nationality, your background, your work. Uh, your education, yeah. um, how many kids you have, no excuses to all those who don't have any kids right now. No excuses. Get to work. Guys, <laughs> Get to work. I have to say something. Yeah. I uh, I was in a, an online business also, not this one. I was an Amway. And uh, in Amway, you, gotta, you have to take time off your work to set up meetings with other people. You have to call them. You have to selling products yeah you have to accumulate your house with products you have to you have to take time off your life to do something and, and half of the time that people you're going to call someone to set up a meeting they cancel on you they, they don't want to do it they will cancel on you then you got to take time off your job to go with them i've done that and that online business that's a hard online business because you 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 get in an online business you have to do everything by yourself they just they coach you a little bit but they don't they don't they don't support you in a way that they coach you to network and they coach you to um what is it called uh recruit, recruit yes recruit, exactly recruit. recruit recruit this business we don't recruit you don't recruit you don't call people you don't have to call anybody we say hey do. look at this yeah. come here we don't accumulate products in our house we do not we do not have and to move a around lot of products are horrible like horrible like the, yeah. all the products that i've tried in one of our um, online uh, income streams that we're affiliated with, they're amazing. They like help me so much. They're so health yeah. beneficial. So, and they're not your lotions and potions and vitamins. Like they're so good for you. Exactly. And apart from that, guys, uh, this business here, you have people that have been in this business for about four to five years, even three years, three years her. Uh, you have. People in this business have been for six years because yep. this business have been only up there for six years that know all the information and they will not, they will not hesitate to give you all that information for free information. Uh, that's gold. That's valuable. And we have, uh, uh, Paul on here, Paul Vitti. Uh, he's saying good day. Paul, oh, hey Paul. Paul's testimony. Paul, I want to give a big shout out to Paul. Paul starting this business. Um, he's seen my ad and he's from Toronto and, He's been watching Just, for yeah, a year. He's been, he said, I've been watching you for a year. And I was like, really? I haven't even heard of you. I, I haven't met you. So, um, like, literally, he told me his story and everything. And I was like, this guy is hungry for success. This guy is, you know, like Peter. Um, and he wants a change. So many people nowadays are waking up and realizing, what have I done all my life? Yeah. For Peter to say that he loves his trucking uh, job, I am, like, I am really, really, like, <laughs> I'm proud of him. I'm happy for him because a lot of people don't like their job. Okay. And the fact that he's leaning, he can work on the business three hours and everything. And he's okay with that. Like, that's awesome. But I'm going to be totally honest with you, Peter. And I'm sure you know that a lot of people don't like their jobs a lot. And, and the thing is, is a lot of people are out there and they love their jobs, but all of a sudden they begin to hate them because they feel like, Oh, I got to go to work and they're, they're killing me and they're, they're suffering me and they're not paying me well. And, you know, they got you dangling like a puppet, right? So that's the, what, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, go on. No, that's, that's what society wants to put you in, right? Like a puppet. Go to school, we'll give you prices, B plus, you know, uh, A plus, 
But then we're training you to go to work. To get that paycheck. To get that paycheck. They Mind have- you, I'm not knocking anybody. When Peter is bringing us goods. You bring us those goods with those trucks. <laughs> like, literally. Um, Paulo is a nurse. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for what you do. You know, we have nurses. We have teachers. We have people in here. We have. We wouldn't have food. We wouldn't have uh, health care. We wouldn't have education for our kids. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But when it gets to a point where you feel like you're just overworked, underpaid, and stressed, and you're losing your health. And you have to fight for a back. raise. We got your back. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Paul singing. I look forward to beginning. Amen. Woo, woo, woo. You're welcome. You got it. Oh, God bless you. God bless your new journey to success. We're happy to get you started. This is the people that we want to work with. People are hungry for success. So we can guide, so we can direct you, so we can literally build you to the top. Paulo, do you have anything else to say? I wanted to add to that. Um, as, uh, as Georgia mentioned, like I'm a nurse as well, but this business allowed me not to have to worry about working full time. Um, I love nursing, but I mean, a lot of people in healthcare find out they get burnt out fairly easily. And so um, it's allowed me to pick and choose within my nursing career. Like I can do casual, I can do part-time and do this business full-time. And when I say business full-time, it's like one to five hours a day or less than that. It's really up to you. Um, so yeah, this, this I, I find this business is for people who still love their job, but can cut back on their hours and still do their, the job that they love, but then do this on the side or full-time. So and which I think what Peter will end up doing maybe two years, three years from now that he can pick and choose what what, uh, what sort of trucking um, things that he wants to be able to do. So yeah, that's all I want to add in. Amen, thank you, thank you, thank you. And um, yeah, this is, um, so one of our business partners, uh, Angela Siegfried, she, first she didn't want to leave nursing and then she left and she totally did this business solo, like without any help from her. Then she went back for a couple of days because her heart is like, that's what she loves to do. Like she really ended, she worked with kids. So every month, me and the girls were bugging her because she was stressing her out and her commute was long and it was affecting her. So we would bug her every so often. When are you quitting? Like you had a $20,000 payday. When are you quitting? When are you quitting? She's like, I love my kids there. But they, they stressed her. Like they, when she was home, they would, still text her they would still stress her they would still do i'm totally one of those if i'm working i'm gonna give it my all and um she gave it her all and even even if they was to text me when i'm home i'd be like okay i'd love to help you like i i understood that that it's stressing she's super young um but now she's she is not working in nursing anymore she's she's um expecting and she's very happy and she's settled and she's you know so for those who who think that, you know, I want a second income. I don't want to have this paycheck dangling over my head. See what we're doing in the online world. Go to our websites. You'll see them in the in this post here. Go to our websites. Mine is georgiawilliams.ca. Peter's is peter-freeson.com. We got donlaylor.com. We got juanpaulo.com. Um, if you have any questions, reach out to us. And if you see this, this live on any of our business partners pages it means that we have coached and mentored them directly so they can keep you started so message them privately if you don't see a link or if you don't see our links but literally if once you go to the um workshop you go to add your name and your email you're going to be taken to the workshop right away you're going to watch our replay and then you're going to get a link to join us live on tuesday and thursday so god bless you thank you thank you thank you so much peter would you like to add anything else uh no i think uh i'm thinking i'm pretty much good yep thank you thank you for coming on it's, it's such a joy well, having you as a business finish. partner you're such a big inspiration to all of us oh, and i'm i'm so uh grateful that you could share your testimony with us so god bless we'll god see bless you, guys you everybody thank you for see coming you everyone side. thank you god bless you